the situation uh, as we see it. Um, is this the deal uh, as it's being touted, it's being billed as a step towards peace? It's interesting because it is an achievement for Benjamin Netanyahu and for Israel and for the United Arab Emirates. And he was very specific. He said uh, diplomatic ties will be uh, normalized. You know, we'll, there'll be ambassadors here and there. There'll be direct flights from Dubai to Tel Aviv. Uh, there'll be investment, billions of dollars of investment in Israel, including in um, an Israeli attempt to find a COVID-19 vaccine. So he was talking all that up. But in reality, what we are seeing is a relationship that was under the table, but ongoing for for a, a good while, actually. I have heard a lot of Hebrew spoken in, in the Dubai airport. A lot of Israeli businessmen do business in Dubai at the moment and the United Arab Emirates generally. You know, they have to have a front company somewhere else, but they are doing business, security business, scientific business, economic. So it's, it's already ongoing. And I guess this it's coming out from under the table, or as one Israeli analyst put it tonight, he said, it's like that old fashioned thing when the mistress became the wife. That's what we're seeing now. Indeed, it's an interesting way to look at it, uh, Iris. Now, I understand that Benjamin Netanyahu walked back from this idea of suspending the annexation uh, of Palestinian territory uh, during his press conference. Uh, tell us more on that. It was interesting because he didn't mention it at all when he spoke. It was only under questioning from journalists that he even referred to the annexation. In Washington and um, in Dubai, we are hearing this as a quid pro quo. And particularly in Dubai, we are hearing that this is how it's going to be. In return for the suspension, uh, we are going to have this normalisation of relations. But what we heard from Prime Minister Netanyahu tonight was, no, he hasn't given up on the idea of annexing parts of the West Bank. He remains committed to it. This is only a temporary pause. He repeated those words more than once. It's a temporary pause at the request of Donald Trump. Um, otherwise, he remains committed to annexation. So that's quite a different position in Washington, Dubai and Jerusalem on the issue of annexation. And so we see the first sticking point of what's been billed as a step towards peace. Yes, look, it may well still be a step towards peace. The Palestinians are unhappy with this step towards peace because it doesn't involve them. Yet again, they are out of the loop. This is a decision that didn't take Ramallah into account. And the Palestinians feel betrayed because not, there is no um, land for peace. There's no peace deal with the Palestinians and then a broadening to the Arab world. This is actually a deal between Israel and uh, Dubai and the United Arab Emirates, all the Emirates actually, uh, without involving the Palestinians directly. And, and I think there is great disappointment. Diplomacy is very important to the Palestinian Authority and the Palestinian Authority is meeting tonight to decide on a formal response.